A man is dead and two others injured, including a child, after a shooting near the Trinity Gardens Mardi Gras parade today. WKRG News 5's Haley Kennedy is joining us now. And Haley, those at the parade say that they heard these shots ring out right as things were starting to roll. Yeah, Asher, everyone that I talked to today told me that they are just disappointed that such a fun event turned out to be a tragedy. That, that was broken hearted today. My heart was really broke. Ruby Hoppin says after hearing gunshots just across the street from where she lives, striking a 20 year old man who MPD says was found lying in the middle of next street near McCants Avenue. When I walked to the corner and saw them try to retreat him, I couldn't go no farther. The man was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Me and my grandkids was getting ready to go to the parade and we heard pop, pop, pop and I stopped and we didn't. Dope. Those other gunshots struck two other people, including an 18 year old who MPD says is seriously hurt and a 16 year old boy. And it was scary. <laughs> it really was. All happening Saturday morning just off of the Trinity Garden parade route that was getting ready to roll. Hoppin says it's usually a tradition for her and her family to go, but today they stayed home. Don't you see all the fine is in the yard? My family come and we get together, we eat, and everybody go back home. Everybody be safe. However, this is not the first time the Trinity Garden Parade has seen a scene like this. This video shows a scene from six years ago in 2018 where three parade watchers were hit by gunfire, but thankfully survived. Three men were arrested in that case. Two of them pleaded guilty to assault. The third was shot and killed at a Pritchard gas station last March. But Hoppin says enough is enough. Stop the violence. Let the law break whatever need to be breaking, you know? Police have not made an arrest and are asking anyone with any information on the shooter to get them a call. Reporting in the studio, Haley Kennedy, WKRG News 5.